All right, now it's Wednesday morning. Got my dad with me today, so I'll be walking alone. Get this. 32. Yeah, it's nice. The sun's still kind of in a bad angle for us. I like the little teardrop that it's got with it. It says make off first, so I don't know what he's wanting for it. It's out of Canada, I guess. It's 32 with a little V8 in it. First year. Got a look over here. Yeah, it's got the little flathead V8 in there. Yeah, make off. Or... He's been to the race of gentlemen. That's up here in the England area. It's a good looking setup though, with the trailer and everything. Yeah, I'd be curious to know what he's wanting for it, but it's, it's really it's got cool. The modern juice brakes. Yep. Yeah. yeah if you just drop it down in there. Yeah, I saw a couple Hudsons up here last year, but I didn't see any Hudson convertibles. This is a 54. Is it a flat eight? No, it's six. Oh. That's what they had, but. It's a big six. The 54, 72,000 miles, didn't say the price. Real NASCAR one time. Yeah, they did. This one's either fairly original or, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were engineers original. We got a dash, that's cool, I like the, Big digits on there for the speedometer. I just don't see a lot of Hudson convertibles. I guess it was a Hornet special. Yep. I like this old sticker, Stacy checked for State of Illinois 1962. <laughs> or no, I'm sorry, Indiana. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> I don't know if y'all like it in Illinois and Indiana or not. I did get one of these off of a Hornet in Junkyard. Got a Truman Mars, that's cool. Twin H Power. That's a nice one. Only 500 convertibles made this Okay, year. yeah. This is a cool one. It'd be one hell of a car to have. I like it. That was really neat. Been a lot done to it. The only thing I didn't notice till just now is it's got power windows in. Is it power locks too? No, it's power windows. It's still pretty impressive. And then I got at a junkyard. I got one of those uh, dash bezels and thing back. And then the windshield wiper system's cool with the cables here. That's really neat. But if that cable breaks, it's a hell of a job to put all back together. Yeah, that's true, because back backing ones do suck. It's interesting. It still kind of looks like a vacuum one, but I don't know. I've just never seen with all in cables. It's interesting. One interesting car. <coughs> yeah, we'll see what the rich boys are buying at Hershey this year. 63 Porsche. 29.5. It's a sharp car. Isn't this similar to what you said you were going to buy when you were getting out of the army over in Germany? Yeah. Just not exact, but similar? No. It was 4000 for a brand new one. 4000 and you thought that was too much? <laughs> we got a 21 Packard here. This one's 27.5. And this is a company called Dragon Classic Motor Car selling all these. It's a pretty Packard. If you like the early, early ones. Ooh, I like this one better though. The big one with the rumble seat and everything. Yeah, it's really cool. This is like Great Gatsby type of stuff here. This one's 140. Cooper Roadster. Like the on that. That's cool. Really nice. And back to the foreign cars. Mercedes. Could you see Mercedes? 185,000 on this one. 
And this old one, this one on the store here. It's a 29 Chrysler. 29 Chrysler, okay. Yeah. Yeah, my, my, my biggest yeah. drawback right now with my car is getting the How much is it? 32 yeah. five. Cool like 20 grand for both. You have to do the entire entire thing. Headliner. My, yeah. Those are pretty cars for it's sure. It's there. It's just that where are you located? Really nice. Well, you can send me pictures. This is my favorite for sure. I like that. That's one of my favorites I've seen all week. That is a gorgeous car. It's like dark, dark blue too. Very nice. But this would be a fun little sporty car. Something different from, at least different from normal we're from. 356 are real classics now. Are they? Real collectible. Yeah, those are really cool cars in there. Yeah, we got some more high dollar cars here. 62 Thunderbird Roads. 179.5. I didn't even know this stock came brought that much. So what makes this one worth 180 on? One of 120 sports ones. Oh, hey. oh okay. It was a rare one. I knew they made these sport roasters. I didn't know they were that rare though. I thought they were a little bit more common than only 120 per year. So the thing is long though. I'm almost laying the airplane on the back of there. <laughs> That's a cool dash. A lot of chrome in there. A lot of chrome in there. I guess it's got the park through drive on the steering column. Not, I don't know if we've seen it in the steering column like that. Usually it's you know, on top of it. It's an aftermarket tack, I believe. I think so. Yeah. yeah. 390. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, third gen. Thunderbird. Bentley. Bentley. Wow. Very stately. It's pretty. I'm not a foreign car guy or even really a luxury car guy, but this one's kind of cool. Big clean white Bentley. It's only 329,000. It's interesting. 329. The left hand drive too. It's only seven. Hey, uh, first is only seven. It's like something that uh you know the old rock stars would have had back in the day. Or at least ridden in back in the day. It's cool. Once again, this is more my style though. The big the big long convertibles. Dual or a little coupe. The other one was a coupe. This one's a long face. It's a dual fighting. Yeah, dual. Uh, it's not really dual cow, but it's uh, it's usually they'll have the metal in there. But yeah, it's a big long Phaeton for sure. Yeah. Now, so basically, starting in the year that you turn seventy three, so that thirty two Nash. I figured it wasn't a Packard or something. Which didn't know what, but it's a Nash. That is a really good looking Nash right there. I like this hood on it. Okay, so the Paul TIAA, give them. Looks like you're on this one. I how low the top is on there. That is really cool, low and lean looking. Really cool. What's this one? Pullman? Okay, so it'll be any number. I'm just making that. 1909. 1909 Pullman. You're my mother. Right hand drive. But this early on, I don't know if they'd standardized what side the car to steering wheels usually went on. You see the, see the emergency brake? No, where's that? The wooden stick on the brake. <laughs> that was high technology for the time, huh? <laughs> that was cool. So typically what you need to do the suggestion that way your taxes are already 
Lincoln. No, I am a Lincoln guy. Yeah, because yeah, my favorite Lincoln, Lincoln's are the Zephyrs. I, I really January, prefer those, but I, I just, any Lincoln I, I really like. I, I just hit the B double, you know, that way I don't have it hanging over my head. Uh, this one's real short. Market goes up. I could have made more money. I just want to get it done. I appreciate my clients get it done. So uh, yes, yeah, so try to sneak behind it here. All right. So okay, that's a good looking car. Get the golf club. Yep. Cubby. Let's see if we can get the price here on it. That's something like a... 275. Oh. I like them, but I don't know why I like them that much. <laughs> <laughs> so there's 30 cattle in it. Yeah, those are massive. Each 16. So 32 Lincoln, you already tell the styling of Anson versus the 30 Cadillac. One, this was 1.15 million. I guess this is probably the most expensive one in here. Oh my God. Over a million dollars for the Cadillac. It's a gorgeous car. I don't know how much money it'd have to be worth to want to buy it. Oh, I didn't even look. This is a Lincoln. It was, I didn't even pay attention. The Lincoln's only 275. Okay. Yeah. So you get about four of them for the price of this one. And a little Marion. Not familiar with Marion. Almost like a touch. Yeah, a little bit. Of course, you get this far back that kind of everything looks like everything else. A lot of brass. A lot of brass. Yeah. Uh, see what's got the info over here. 1910 Marion, inquire for price. What does that mean? The back Cadillac's a, over a million, they got the price on there. How much is a Marion? Is it 280? Is that early 70s, late 60s? Yeah, like 187. That wasn't really my style, but I can appreciate it. Let's go back here and see what they got in the back. Yeah, check out the right now, man. That thing is wild. The black card, that yeah, thing, that thing is, is that is interesting. Yeah. What is it? Uh, Renault. Renault? Renault. Wow. Already over there. What, what year? 13. 1913 Renault? Yeah, dude, and let me tell you, mm -hmm. it cranks up two really? cranks. Man, they what? took it on the Audrain tour, 60 mile tour, and dude, it just, just, just went. It's supposed to wow. Do. Looks like it should be at the mansion for like the Adams family or something. I don't know, it's like a witch doctor car. I go, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Halloween's coming, man. Halloween's coming. <laughs> it is. It just looks exactly like something like that. This is cool. <laughs> so it's got the driver thing here and then the driver passenger divider there. That is one interesting car. It's just got a Look very. Tell telecommunications yeah from the, from the back seat to the driver oh yeah it's just got a very gothic Look feel to the it straps the the straps would be probably seat. to pull your your no they had little tassels for that one mm -hmm. yeah, well they sold this one it's got sold written on there that is just, just a very Adams Very Family Munster looking vibe to it with the patina and everything the way it is. Well, they sold it. They were asking 189.5. It's pretty cool. You can definitely you can smell like the the old coming off of it. This is definitely the most unique car out here for sure. Really cool. This company here always has the best display. Yeah, they do have some cool stuff. Every year. I wonder if it's ivory on the handle over there. Be interesting. I bet it is. Could be. Look at the hat rack. You got a hat rack in there? Oh, yeah. It's cool. There's a really cool little motorcycle here. See, this is, this is their car. 
Yeah, well, this is all car. Well, yeah, we'll check out the rest of the car corral later on this evening. But uh, Indian 1920. Wow, look at that sidecar. Yeah, I like that. That'd be fun to ride in something like that. We don't have the price on this one, I don't guess. It's very interesting. You and mom could road trip up here in this. And suicide clutch. Harley's. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were taking a picture. Oh, no, I was taking a picture of the biggest bumper I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it's, if it's not the biggest, it's up there, right? It's <laughs> it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get the Jag here. I don't know if the motorcycle and Jag are for sale or they're just out here. Oh no, they got price. This one's got a price in it. Fifty nine. Fifty nine Jag for one seventy. One sixty nine five. One sixty nine. It's either a motorcycle they already sold or something, I don't know, because usually they don't have a price on it. And I guess it's gorgeous cars. It's also left hand drive, which yeah. made from. Yeah. It's some pretty stuff. They never failed at this point. This is Hyman Limited. They sell some really interesting stuff. Alright, 1930. Boat Tail Speedster. Interesting. I'm not sure if I've seen a pack of Boat Tail Speedster. It's a pretty car that silver and maroon really work well together. I love this metal ornament. This works really well together. That old car over there driving around. Look at the seats are one's further back than the mm -hmm. other. Offset seats. I'm, I haven't really seen that very often. Pat year can be more comfortable. Yeah. Boat tail package. Boat tail. Yeah, I've seen boat tails, but not on package. There's just a big old... The whole car's covered in vinyl. That's interesting. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that one. I don't know what that is. Well... This is a good car here. Not much of a trunk, but I guess you're not buying this for the trunk. I like these old Packard banners I got up here too. Uh, this one's not for sale. This is just with the Packard Club. I think they're advertising, you know, the Packard Club in itself. But uh, gorgeous car. They brought one last year. The guy told us all about it. How the, I think they have students from local high school fix them up and everything. But uh, this one's pretty. Well, last one last year was nice, but this one's really nice. Yeah. I said uh, 39 boat tails were built, which they only know of 11 survivors today. So, quite a rare Packard. Interesting. I'm walk over here and see. We're going to go see what that is. We'll worry about that later. We'll keep trekking. Uh, we've come around the corner back to this loud vinyl covered car. What is this? The Bub Smooth Cab Body. The Bub. New Bub Body for Ford. Apparently it's a Bub Body, but for a Ford thing. I guess it went on Model A's, Model T's, but there's just some... It's uh, interesting. Never heard of Bub Bodies, but uh, that's what it is. I guess so. And then you just put these different aftermarket bodies on there. You see how the Model A or T? T. Model T. Yeah, got three just pedals. Put a, just put a different body on there. Okay, well now, now I've seen Bub Body. <laughs> you may never see another one. I might not. I can live with that. Yeah, 
Do the random things here at Hershey. Yeah, well, Richard said he, he sent me some stuff from Speedway. A little bit of everything. More 50s through 70s stuff sprinkled in there than it used to be. It used to be just pretty much all pre war, but uh, you're starting to see more of the newer, as they say, newer stuff. Kind of just show a little shot of the stuff that we haven't been filming, people can get an idea. I'm trying to keep it to the highlights, but then show a little bit. There hasn't been a whole lot of highlights in this section. I'm hoping maybe I'll have more this afternoon to film after lunch. I'm going to film a few things over here. There's a lot of just your normal swap meet stuff. I figured in this row might as well kind of show what, what's down here. No license plates. <laughs> well, there was one here this morning. She just a little bit of everything, uh, new and old. She brought me over some ice cream last night. Yeah. They already sold it, but they had a old international here. Looks like it was in pretty decent shape body wise. 2700. Looks like it was out of Nebraska, 57 last year. <laughs> Some dried up apples or something in the back there that's funny. Yeah, a little ruffled up, but at least it's not rusty. Um, let's see if I can get a shot of the interior here. Oops. Yep. Someone got it. Someone had to have it. Good project for someone. This guy's got a lot of nice restored pumps. He's just right down the aisle from us. Really cool stuff. Out of my price range, but really cool stuff. We got a big boy over here. That's really neat. We got some really, really interesting stuff in there. If I ever get a, the money and have them shop nice enough for it, I'd get a few pumps and neons for it. You know. But right now, I got a bunch of rusty junk cars. It'd be kind of pointless to have this cool stuff in there with a bunch of projects. But yeah. Cool stuff here. This guy down here's got some. We'll see what he's got. See if he's as accommodating. Some more toy. Man, I think one there's been more toy cars at this meet, and I think any of the other meets I go to, that's for damn sure. Toy cars everywhere out here. Some of them pretty cheap though. Yeah, he's got really neat old porcelains in here. Big, big that is really nice. I like the little shit he's got in there too. Did this when I 
Very nice. A lot of cool stuff. This one didn't collect the cars. I could have the cool stuff. I dump all the money in the rusty cars and have none for this type of stuff. Very nice. Pretty cool 1913 Oakland Model 40 unrestored right here. That is really cool. Not sure if it's running shape or not, but probably is. It's got the old dealer tag on there. That's really neat. Let's go see what the sign says up close. 25 grand delivered to Los Angeles, California. Wow. That's a solid old car right there. Very interesting. And this is a clean Ford here. I think both of them out of California, I guess. Boy, that's pretty. It's beautiful. And that is a good looking color that on this car, really, too. Really pretty. Yeah, 28.5. It's nice. It is a good looking car. I used to run around in one like that. Oh, really? My, my buddy, he's dead now, but <clears throat> back in the 60s. Wow. The early 60s. So you have memories of riding in a car just like this one then, huh? Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Take care. That yeah, is a pretty car. Really nice. And then over here, a few awesome things. And then these little Winnebago's, my God, you see them everywhere. I didn't realize they were so collectible. There's a hundred on there. Seems to be one of the lower end prices I've seen for those. Yeah, some cool stuff. Yeah, this guy's got some really cool old uh, posters and things. I guess the size on them, they might have been at a uh, dealership. Says advertising poster. So I'm assuming these were in commercial settings, as big as they are. Not obviously not magazine ads. He's got a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. 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 Like that, that's my era. That's 70s, 80s. So, what were these huge, like, would they be just been in the commercial areas or? Yeah, must have been. Okay, yeah, because yeah, I was going to say, obviously not magazines, so I just right. didn't know. You, Probably that mean car dealerships. Okay, you know, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, like so, dealerships, one, okay, yeah. There's some over there. That makes sense. Yeah, I didn't know if there was something they would have plastered up on, you know, walls of, yeah. of commercial areas or what. It's too small to be billboards and too big to be magazines or newspapers, so that's right. why I wasn't sure, yeah. They're neat either way. Yeah. These are cool. You know what these would have been used for? The okay, advertise. So basically, maybe before the new models came out, yep. they take these dealerships. You can see what was going to come out. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's neat. Oh, the vehicle one's really cool. That's really neat stuff. Yeah, 
Oh, that one's cool. The Plymouth one. He's got some cool stuff out here on the table. That is pretty neat. These old 18 wheelers are really interesting. My boy started collecting the newer 18 like wheelers. So I'm just starting to, I don't know how long they're gonna do that. They get in things sometimes to get out of them, but we're getting like the 70s and 80s, 90s ones, but these older ones, yeah, those are cool. I, I always liked the 18 wheelers, the real ones when they had the old aluminum sides like that. Really cool. Some neat stuff. And get rich just be the stuff I buy. Deck out my shop with. Pretty cool stuff in that one, in that vendor spot. All right, got this old diamond T. Looks like a spare engine in the back. Well, not too bad. Survivor. Seventeen nine bill of sale. That's pretty cool. Got the old bullet holes over here. That was used for target practice. Be one hundred the truck fixed up. Yeah, these are nice. What a friend used to be on those trucks. And he always had a few of these. He's always going to restore them. Never did. And I didn't have any more. This is a nice one. I haven't seen them in a while. I like it. All right, I got another high-end classic here. Sounds a 32 Cadillac. That thing is a looker. Yeah, it doesn't have that. I was going to say mm. I saw you the whole thing. <laughs> Somebody had a 38. He said, oh, well, buy Probably a V12, I'm guessing. Maybe a yeah. 16 going in here. 3860 Special was a green car. Oh, this is your cow, I believe. The, 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 the real real cow. Almost like a Buick. Yep. Yeah, this might have been your last year. It was a car that did look a lot like yeah. it, but it was yeah. way on the other side of the swap meet. This could be it. Either way, good looking car. No, it's a V8. I was just assuming it was a V12 or 16. As long as they don't have the wider window cars. It's good. Let's see if we can get the engine over here. For some reason, that one Jim bought, he bought a 33 ball leather V8. Man, that was a tight. Like the machining on the gauge cluster and dash. It's cool. I guess he's kind of like on the clothes. Yeah, so yeah you, when you do the seats, get them to yeah. cut them down. Just a massive V8. You know, and the, and the how's the toll? That thing is awesome. You know what hey, I did? One thing I've ever seen them cars over there for Hyman. Even though this one is an either an old, oh, it's got to be an old restoration. Even this old restoration, 140 compared to the Hyman cars. That's a bargain car for them. I say those aren't worth it, but it's a, <laughs> I could actually almost afford this one. I liquidate everything I own. It's beautiful. All right, so Wednesday's coming to an end. We're back in the car crowd to check out the stuff that wasn't here yesterday or we didn't have time. Got my dad with me today, so I'm not talking to myself. So we'll just kind of hit the cars that I didn't see yesterday. I'm going to skip past the ones I saw yesterday. This definitely wasn't here yesterday. Last year. Yeah, the, 48, yeah, 55 grand, which 55 grand, I want to say Woody's were bringing more than that 10, 15 years ago. So I think they're coming down a little bit in the value department, but still pretty desirable. I mean, 55,000, still pretty good money, but this one's pretty good. Paint on it's really nice. The wood, I can't tell if it's water stain or supposed to kind of have that burnt look to it. It's got a little bit of it's, water uh, yeah, there, but yeah. It's, and it's a 48. Which is funny, it's 48 because usually by post-war, 
defenders came into there, but I guess the Woodies that kept them like the earlier pre-war ones where they dip into the firewall. I don't, got, I don't know if I got his number over there. But, yeah, good looking Woody wagon. The low production on those. Yeah, and low survivorship too, for obvious reasons. <laughs> Once that wood started going, they did not live long. So, yeah. let's see. Check out the Lincoln. Don't believe the Lincoln was here. And if it was, I must have missed it somehow. 56 Six. Lincoln convertible. 55 again. So for the same money, you can have this one or the Woody. It's up to you. See if I can get the interior from the other side. That is, that is some smooth paint on there. That is really smooth. You know that black will show you any flaws, and I'm not seeing any on this one. Like the premiere on there, that's cool. Get the gold. I <laughs> like the night on there. That's pretty neat. That's a looker right here. Yeah, it's done up quite nice in there. Looks like a little tuck and roll. I don't know if that's factory or not. It's got power windows, looks like. I got power, a lot of other power items too. That's sharp. Yes, very nice. really sharp. Very nice. 59 Olds. 69.5, a little bit more than the Lincoln. Yep. That Lincoln for the money, I mean, I know it's a good amount of money, but Lincoln for the money, that was really was well done. Yeah, it was convertible, that was really well done. That, in my opinion, was a pretty good deal. This would only hold three dead bodies. <laughs> yeah. The 98, so. The, so what would the difference between the 88 and 98 be, do you know? I don't know. You don't know? An old wheel guy can chime in. That's pretty cool how it's got the Oldsmobile Letters across the back there. That's pretty neat. The that trunk is, is pretty huge. You almost lay in there a long ways. I guess steering wheel hop comes back out at you. That's really neat. Wow, look at that. That is really neat. This one's got power. It looks like it's got power windows. up front. Yeah, no, no it's yeah, power. It's yeah, the crank is probably for the yeah. window. But I don't see power switching. Oh, yeah, I do. It's in the mighty ashtray. That's a good car. To get the star missing on the up cap. It's been the, your 401k getting the front end re on it. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Probably less than the Lincoln, though. Maybe the Lincoln legs. Mm hmm. That's cool. And then it goes literally the whole length. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's definitely different. All right, let's check this Mercury out. I never know if the, these stickers are original or not. They're cool either way, even if they are repop. The blue interior is kind of neat with the black. Got the Mercury Man logo and the Mm -hmm. Center horn cat, that's cool. It's always interesting how they had it flattened back, back like that. Window. Uh -huh. It does go down. It does, yeah, I thought it did. Monterey. Did it, I wonder if they made it flat like that so you, you, they could just have a window that goes up and down well, like that. It's yeah, probably like the main reason. Be too hard. No, this one's just got some sort of aftermarket hubcaps and rooms. This is a four speed, that'd be fun. 24,500. That's pretty cool. Might need a little going over. It's got a little bubbling under there. That'd be a little concerning. But I guess if you keep it inside, it might take a long time for that rust to rust to get out of the hand, but still, yeah. It's a shame the bodywork is very good on it to see that bubbling under the roof. That's like one I had. You had one like this? Yeah, except it had uh, orange pinstripe and it was black. What year was yours? Uh, 70, 
It's a little newer it's than this little, one? Yeah, newer. Seven, 77 on that. Okay. This is 69. 32.5 on this one. Maroon outside, maroon inside. I'll see if I get the interior from the other side. There's just a little too much on this. This one's a Pennsylvania car. Oh, he's got the window down over here that always makes it a lot easier. The sun's still not a helping me right now. It's pretty. 428 HO. SS 396 Chevelle. Older frame off. It's holding up well for being older, though. Could have fooled me. I would have thought it would have been fairly fresh in the last five years, at least. If you're saying older, though, I'm assuming at least 20 years ago. There you go. Out of York. Get it in the car. Now, this is... <laughs> <laughs> you almost can't get it all in the same frame. Is it a limo? I'm pretty sure it's a limo. Yes. And it's like a dark, dark blue, or either that or a dark, dark gray. I can't quite tell. Can't tell if it's dark gray or dark blue. Yeah, you can't see anything through there. It says a 47 Longwa base. Refurbished. It wouldn't Refurbished, refurbished. never restored. 39.9. Yeah, they're calling it a long base. I would just say limo because it's got the jump seats mm -hmm. right there and then the footrest. It's usually what the limos of the air had. Let me see if I can get a little better interior Should shot be from a the funeral. other side. Yeah. Let's see if I can get a little better look on the inside. Not really. Nope. Can't really see in there. Yeah, British car guys. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. You just never get into the European cars. Like, I think this one, I mean, these are pretty Jaguar E-type. I mean, he's pretty collectible. Just, I don't know. They're just, I guess there's not my taste. They look disproportioned to me. The top looks too tall for the front end. I don't know. Jaguar E-Type 4.2 then. You got a Lincoln here. This is what, a late 60s? 61 probably. I thought it was late 60s. 67. Yeah, I was gonna say, cause the front ends are different yeah. on the earlier ones. Leather interior. Yeah. Black with the red interior is nice looking. Nope. And we all see with the glare. This must be the same guy. He's got the same little arrows on the. I'm trying to show you that they're still inspected. Another 442. It's a real deal, too. That copper with the tan top looks nice. Let me get the interior from over here. Not really. This glare is just horrible. Tonight. Beautiful paint job. It is. It really is clean, clean paint job. Another Cutlass. Yeah, GM. It's so millions of those things. <laughs> Kind of got the mustard color almost on it. One family car since new. This is unrestored original, repainted in '86. Gold. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess more gold than mustard. That evening sunlight will make tricks on you sometimes. Great interior. Yeah, the interior is really nice. I do believe it as being mostly original one family. It has been. Well, we got a TR6 here. Is that what we're closing out the <laughs> we're closing out the 
car corral with is a TR6, huh? So they kind of put the top down. Yeah. 76, I assume. Didn't have the information on it. And the motorcycle gang, Honda uh, motorcycle gang going by. And that'll be about as intimidating as the boys I looked at Pate when we get our Hondas going. All right, well, that's pretty much the car corral, so we'll have to pick it back up on the swap meet. Some good cars. Can't afford any of them, but there's some nice stuff out here. Okay, I didn't want to end the car corral with that TR-16 information, so this isn't in the car corral, but we were walking back. I saw this really nice-looking Cougar here. Here, you know what? We'll finish this section out of the video with this car. Eighty thousand original miles, twenty two five, three oh two. That's a fun little car to drive. Different from the Mustang. I like the Mustangs, but these Cougars a little bit better. I like the hideaway headlights. Any car with hideaway headlights, I love. And then the uh, the turn signal. Uh, those Prager's look good on that too. And I always love the turn signals on these where they the little arrows. Boop boop boop. Boop, boop, boop. Anyhow, yeah, I'll pretty much do the car corral portion of the video and back to the swap meet. This guy's got all these antique jacks over here. Yeah, yeah, if 1915 Jack. But I found a different Jack, yeah, uh, that's, that, that, we, you know, I'm trying to find the right Jack for, you know, very early to me, and it really isn't known which of the two styles, and I found the style. Yeah, yesterday, so, yeah, I'm happy already. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, you know, sitting in storage kind of stuff, but it's pretty hard to uh, turn. Around. Slowly been uh, acquiring bits and uh, pieces in order to. It's like they're all about 150, 200 bucks each. Yeah. If you're looking for a period yeah. correct car jack, yeah. this is yeah. where you go to get it. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen these bodies before people make like little scooters or something I guess you kind of sit on the roof I've never seen one with the I've never seen one with the 55 through 7 Chevy truck body that one's kind of cool that'd be cool just to paint up and have in the shop since it's style trucks we have that's pretty cool I've never seen that one I've seen like these little hot rod ones a lot but that one's new to me Ford truck one's cool too. And then you get like the Mercury body here. That's neat. Yeah, you got some hoods and things. It's like Thunderbird probably. Ford. From trim. Something specializes in Ford. Yeah, 55 through 6 Ford. Yeah, today's the last day of the meet and Oh man, it went by fast. Um, it's a lot smaller this year than it had been because of the hurricanes, I think. They keep mentioning that on the PA system, but uh, it's still a really good meet. Let's come in here. We got some Hondas here. Oh, that's a clean truck set over there. Four grand. I'll tell you one thing, the price. I've seen quite a few of these 1270s out here this year. Not during that one. The price on the 1270s up here seem a lot better than the prices at Pate. This is like the place to go and get them here. 4200 on this one. I've not seen that color combination before. That's interesting. Yeah, these are all really nice for Route 4. At Pate, I want to say about 30, three and a half, four. You're not going to get them quite that clean. That's pretty cool. See what else we can find today. This is the only make offers you can afford on this one. I bet that was a pretty stately car at one point in time. Got the big old engine in there. Set the Packard firewall thing. And now it's the Hershey 
What did he say? The Hershey Highway Towing. Big old Packer did one time. Yeah. I guess he just cut the body away and it's like they patched up the frame here. I don't know. Yeah, it's like that rookie thing on the back. I like the deer thing. That's classy touch right there. The deer butt face. <laughs> I guess he buys and sells bigger parts. I guess he sold all of them off of this one. I mean, from here forward, it's still good and restorable. From there back, good luck. You can get a new carburetor. Yeah. I know, but I can't see it. Well, it's uh, definitely probably the kind of car is most it? unique no, Packard. Packard. Some sort of Packard, I couldn't tell you the year, but it's what's left of the Packard at least. Yeah. Interesting. If I was in my 30s, I'd buy it and fix it up. Yeah, I was gonna say probably. I bet it was one hell of a good-looking car when it was, you know, oh, yeah. Look at the complete. Yeah, it was a big long sedan or something. Yeah, it was a big yeah. car. It's uh, and I guess more of an art piece now. It's interesting. It's actually pretty good shape. Yeah, that's why I was surprised they taken the body off of it. Hmm. Well, maybe someone will actually restore it back to its former grandeur. This is like a pretty dry Southwest Caddy. 9,500, 63 Barretts, one of 1,825. That's what it looked like fixed up. Didn't have the price, but it is in pretty darn good shape. Missing the back seat, but the body's solid. Looks like it's from the Southwest somewhere, judging by the paint. No, Minnesota, trick me. I just sworn it'd been like an Arizona, California, New Mexico car. It's like originally that turquoise blue, that would have been nice. A little ruffling on this yeah, that's upper panel, something happened there. It's a little difficult to turn it in. Yeah. Hmm. He'd probably replace that quarter panel more. The easiest, but at least there's no rust in the thing. So no triple A sticker there. Didn't say if it ran or not. It wouldn't surprise me if it does. No. Well, maybe a roller. No, I, I think it'd be sitting higher than ever than an engine. It's at least got an engine, I'm sure that. 55 over here is nice too. Four door sedan, 225. It's a 210. This is basically what I got, but a 55 version. This is very original. Oops, Let's see if I can go around the other side with the sun the way it is. Go around back here. 55 to 10. It's interesting for being a 55 to 10. It's got the bumperettes on the yep. corners. You wouldn't expect to see on the 210. Gray's pretty neat color on these. You know, I don't straight, know if I've really seen this gray. It is. We were talking on the way up here how you don't like gray cars you're running battleship, and now look, we're even seeing a 55 in the battleship gray. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. But this and the Caddy are nice. We got some more Caminos here. I guess I'll check them out real fast. Look like they're twins of each other for the most part. This one's white with the cloth. The other one's maroon with the maroon leather. Leatherette at least. Let me get this one. Seventeen five on this one. I'm not sure why this one's so much less. They look all identical as far as quality goes. Hmm. Yeah, you know, pretty new paint on that one. Yeah, they, they didn't do a very good. Job. Yeah, I guess you can see some way on that one. You don't see any way on that one. Some nice cars. Got a couple more here. Damn, we polished that off last night. <laughs> see what they got here. It's a boy. Looks like a base model one, too. Oh yeah, probably. Usually, get these base model sedans. Are usually the reason why they're so nice is because they're pretty nice original shape. Let's see if we can get some information on it. Fourteen five, twenty three thousand original miles. Wow, that is impressive. Fifty six, man. Uh, it's 
This is a funky looking Dodge here. Wow. <laughs> that is a different see, grill. Less, less money than I offer the two grand six. difference, I'd much rather have the Savoy. That is for sure. This one's probably pretty much all original too. Yeah, this is all original, 34,000 miles. Damn. 68 convertible. Yeah, Mercury or what is this? Mercury. Yeah, Mercury. This dropped twice a little bit on this one. This is 69,800 original miles, so they're all pretty low mileage original. Not too bad. Then you got a little pickup truck convertible here. I don't know if that's factory or custom. I not familiar with the 80s Dodge trucks. 90. It's a 1990 model. Let's see what it says. Very rare. Dodge Dakota convertible, 40,000 original miles, 26.5. So it is an original factory convertible truck. That's interesting. I did actually personally like it better if it was just a regular truck. It's but first one I've I like the seen. graphics and everything. Yeah. It's the first one I've seen in person. You know, I think I've seen those before. I just thought they were customized, but uh, it's interesting. I do like the red with the graphics, but like I said, I'm more of a, just have it be a regular cab. Oh, some cool project cars through here. Well, not even project cars, Cadillac's project cars, some just really cool original cars through here. They got us another project car, this time a 47 Lincoln. It is for sale, but unfortunately, they don't have a price on there. This one's a full project, but it is a full project on a pretty. It's a nice type of car. I'm a Zephyr guy myself, but any Pat, uh, Lincoln this era, I like 30s, 40s. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, this, is, this is pretty damn good shape, too. Considering its age, at least. Not hardly any rust to speak of. I know the interior is trashed, but no price. I don't know. About the worst of it right here. Something fell on the worst of the roof. I don't know. It's a solid car. Looks really good. That's the script here. It's nice. I'll probably get copyright claim for the damnedest song they got playing over here. Never even heard of that song. Good looking car. Deal. Really fun project right here, and I have a ton of them already. It wouldn't come when it's done, that's for sure. All right, we're going to finish out this year's swap meet by checking out this pop up showroom. We got some pretty interesting things in here. I've got my uncle with me. Anything you want to say to the camera? No. Okay, <laughs> we'll look at the cars. <laughs> See, the boys like this type of stuff, these little Datsuns. I don't know about quite this old, but they are Datsun fanatics. This is a really old one here. Is that 50s? 68. Oh, just looked old. 33,000. As you can tell, I do not know Datsun since I thought it was a 50s model. That is a slick little car. Datsun 2000. Couldn't tell you what the hell Datsun 2000 is, but you got one right here. A little five speed though, that'd be kind of fun. It's cool. Good looking little car. Uh, oh, they got a lounge area here, that's fancy. Got the Porsche, I guess what, late 80s? I had one of these when they were new. Not the one that was just on camera, different one. 87. 911. 57.5 on this one. I don't think they got either window down. See if I can go. Yeah. See if I can sneak back here. I don't think we're going to be able to see through that glass. It's pretty. Tinted. Looks like an unrestored original. I didn't read the thing. Sometimes when I'm talking about these, I don't have time to read them on filming them, I and mean, I don't read them ahead of time like I should probably do. But 
It looks like an unrestored original. He might have said on that documentation. Now this is this is definitely restored. This is really slick here. Twenty grand on the nineteen sixty convertible. That's your numbers two eighty three V eight. Wow. That is pretty. Still think I might like the 55 through 7s a hair more, but the 58 to 62s are definitely right up there. They're cool. That is a good one there, too. And we got a, what is this, Chevy? What is that about a 40 Chevy Special Deluxe? Woody? Looks like the dash is completely original. It doesn't look like it's been redone at all. The seating in back here, way in the back. There ain't no room putting nothing back there behind that. Well, my uncle over here that's not really wanting to be on camera, he's owned and restored quite a few woodies over the years. He had that 42 Mercury uh, bird's eye maple woody. Yeah, that was nice. Still nice, just not in the family anymore. I like the license plate mark his window yeah, that's cool. Pretty car. Let's see, you get the information here. 75.5 on this one. All right, sorry for the little editing cut. I just got a phone call. All right, now let's check out this beautiful Buick Roadmaster here. Man. That is a sharp one, a four door hard top too. It is sharp. I like that green on green there. That is cool looking. Just just different enough to give it a little I actually think that light green, the turquoise green over the more metallic green, that that's really cool. I like that better than the white, which is more commonly seen. Oh, hold on, it's cool looking with the grill. Well, it's actually functioning. Actually, it does let air through there. I thought it was just yeah. for looks, but it does yeah. let some air through yeah. there. Yeah. I guess the air to air, yeah. not enough. You got to get a little more. These are cool too. Let's see what they got on this one. 57.9. You know, it's surprising. Some cars, it seems like they're cheaper now than they used to be, and others have gone way up. It's just like the market's kind of rearranged itself a little bit. <laughs> you know? Oh, Lincoln. What's that? I'm trying to figure out what to give me for Christmas. Oh, okay. Hey, if I win the Powerball, right this will be in your driveway. I love to have yeah, what is that, a 55, 56 Lincoln? Five, six, seven, they all look the same. I'll tell you one thing, this is a, this one's done up proper. Continental on the back. Shame it's not the windows now. 58,000 even. Oh, yeah, I would have thought it been more than that. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Continental. Got the exhaust come out of the bumper there. One of these lifts up for your fuel filler. Oh, it does. Okay. I think this side maybe it looks like it's got the little tab right here. Yeah, right there. Cause I don't see it on the other side. Wow, that's a good looking car. And each one of those is an individual. The fin. Oh, the fins are individual. Each one is individually screwed on there. Oh wow, really? Yes. Oh my god. It was an expensive wheel car. Wow. Yeah, that one's a nice one. Three sixty eight V eight. It's got that red and white interior. Yeah, that you won't see a lot of Lincolns, especially the older ones in white, but that, that does work with that body style. It looks pretty good. Made about two thousand of those. Oh, okay. Oh. It looks good. They're like $10,000 new. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think it's the 41 Super Deluxe convertible here. I've seen a few of the 41s out here this year. This is probably the cleanest one, though. Yeah. I think a couple of them need to be restored. And one of them, or a couple of them, maybe were older restorations. This looks like a pretty fresh restoration here. 33.5 seems reasonable. There was one out there. I think it was like 20 grand. And it, it needed paint and body work so for 33.5 you'd be ahead getting this one because it's it looks show quality it looks really sharp wow and then back to the 
British cars. We've seen a few of these this week. Another E Type 4.2. You just can't see much in there. I didn't even try with the 41. It's way really dark inside of it. You know, I was telling my dad, I said, the bubble top ones, they just, they look disproportionate. I guess the convertible does look a little better. Normally I don't like convertibles. I like hard tops better, but yeah. I guess in this body style, the convertible actually does work a little better. And I think it's hard to know for sure in here, but I think it's a dark, dark blue on this one. Yeah, indigo blue, red interior, black top for 148.5. Man, they bring the money. Whoop. Got them in the tent. Talk about expensive wheels. I bet these yeah. wheels are pretty pricey too. Jesus. Going back to the Germans. Porsche. Was like a 60s Porsche Targa. I like that leather, tan leather interior with the hound's tooth. That's kind of cool looking. I've not really seen that combo before in an interior. Look at kind of race car green you always see. I know that's more of a British racing green that's kind of similar to that British racing green. You know, it's a German car. 70. 109,000 on the Targa. It's pretty. And what the heck is this? I guess the British looks like we got a plain bag. Right hand drive. MG Club. Oh, they sold this one. This one sold. Let's see what they sold it for. Let's see if I can go around there. 32.5 is what it was. Kind of on it. It was the only time I'd ever seen it. And, and that stuck with that. Yeah, okay. Plain is done. I'll get this right there. We'll put the other little car. Oh, so cool. Anyway, I'm always going to show you. I'm the last one in here. Fairlane Convertible. I've got a Puerto Rican tag on there. I doubt it's from there. They probably just put different tags on these, I guess. 69 on the. No. Airline. 69 gram. Doesn't look like a terribly old restoration, but doesn't look like a fresh one. Probably yeah, maybe a 10, 15 year old one. Yeah. Yeah, some of the chrome probably. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Especially the ages cars. Are, yeah, a little chrome needs to be redone here. That's going to pretty much do the swap meet, and then I'll just show everyone what junk I got, and then that'll yeah. be Hershey 2024. So we'll go walk around and enjoy the rest of the day. All right, so we're at that part of the video where I show everyone all the crap I got. So what I got out here is all the stuff that I bought that I'm keeping, and we'll start over here. I was able to get this pretty cool shell oil oil cam and the reason why i liked it is it's got this really interesting latch system that pops here and then it opens up unfortunately you really like you need a hammer to pop it open i think it's twisted just a little bit but that was neat so i got that just to put my used motor oil in when i take it down to the part store and recycle it i uh, paid he was asking 50 i paid 40 for it and then got this little aj foyt van and race car and everything i uh, got that whole setup for 15. Got some wrench, wrenches here for a dollar each. The scissors were free. Got this really cool retro timing gun for $10. I just like the box that it was in. And uh, it's never been used, so if I do need to use it as a timing gun, I'm probably good to go. But I just, like I said, like the old box. Made in USA, so you know it's old right there. And then if anyone watches our uh, project videos, we got Frankenburb, and on Frankenburb, his exhaust was broke off in the back, so uh, I wanted to just buy this one, but he sold me the pair for uh, 80 bucks. This one needs a little work, so hopefully I can get that going. And it's got a little tab broken here. 
Uh, this one's the same for, I think these came off Chevelle um, or Camaro, but they said the, this is exact same cast number for also for the Chevy truck like we're putting it on. This one was not the exact same cast for 72 Chevy truck, but it said it would work. So obviously a slight difference there. And the boys, as always, are always finding new things to collect. And now they collect these old, um, like, nylon, I guess, uh, trucks from the 70s and 80s. So I was able to get this GM Astro one uh, for Sawyer for 5 bucks, And then Keegan wanted this one up top, the transporter. I don't know if that's a match. I don't think it is. But it was 6 bucks for that. So cheap enough. And I'm not going to get it out because I don't want them blowing around everywhere. And I spend a small fortune. I think I spent about $250 on all this. But I got some really, really nice... Um, 69 to 72 Chevy truck and blazer um, uh, literature and also some 73 and 77 square body literature uh, so I was really happy to get this some really good stuff and I wish I could show you but I do not want to risk getting it damaged or blown away and then of course the ice weights because that's our thing um, bought a few of these to resell I decided to keep the best one I think I paid about five bucks each for those I think I paid Five bucks for this. I got two of them. I'm trying to sell one for ten, and hopefully that'll get me this one for free. Same thing here. I got the other two. I think for ten bucks each. So that way I'll actually hopefully get that one. Paid to get that one. I got some Nebraska plates. I think I paid like a. I got a bunch of Midwest plates. It was like twelve, fourteen plates for fifteen dollars. So I paid like a little over a buck for those as a pair. I'll probably keep it for now at least. I think I paid five dollars for the Montana for my daughter. I uh, got the inauguration plate for 10 which is a little more than one of the pegs. does have some issues with the scotch look right on there. But uh, it's the year I'm born, and they also had the 81, so shut up. 10 bucks for that. I'm trying to collect all the states for 72 so I got the Massachusetts because it's a 72 sticker. I think I paid 5 bucks. 5 bucks. 5 bucks. Uh, I think 5 bucks. That was uh, like a little over a dollar each, a little over a dollar each. $15, bought two of these, uh, $10 a pair, and uh, I kept the best pair, put the other pair out for 25, and a firefighter came by and I sold it to him for 20, so essentially I got these for free. I can't remember, three bucks I think, five bucks, 10 bucks. I don't think they ever made that one, I've never seen that, but uh, I thought it was pretty cool with the 9-11 Memorial thing. Uh, I think five bucks. I can't remember. Five bucks. I'm going to do all 50 states with the triple six, do a display. So I uh, got another state. Uh, Ten bucks, and I got it. I think it'll clean up. And I like how it says Ocean, uh, Canada's Ocean Playground. Uh, <laughs> I bought this for 10 because it's really clean and they're hard to get clean Rhode Island plates. Um, so I bought that for 10 bucks, and then you'll see in a little bit, I bought a whole bunch of Rhode Islands today. A guy was selling them, so I got a lot of a lot of them that are just this clean that I paid a lot less than 10 bucks for, but oh well, I'll keep it. 15 bucks, that's for my daughter. Um, I got like 10 or 12, I think I got 10 of these Manitobas for 2 bucks each. I kept a couple of them, the rest I got in my for sale bin for 7 bucks each, so hopefully I make some money off of those. I think I already sold one or two of them. These uh, were the, like a little over a dollar. Uh, I thought it was interesting. Different states and everything, but they're both 989, so I thought that was kind of quirky. But these were all the, these cheap Midwestern ones were the ones I bought as a set. Uh, I think that was five bucks. I've got it because I like the 350th anniversary. Five bucks, 10 bucks for my daughter. because She likes purple and pink plate. So even though the paint's wearing off, it still is a purple plate. 10 bucks just because I like the patina, like the age. And I don't know if I said already, I got this one. It was tax exempt. I paid uh, five bucks. And uh, this one, it's hard to see, but it's a 31 Arizona. And uh, it was 20 bucks. So um, so that's the stuff I bought to keep. And uh, now I'll show you real fast the stuff that I bought that I'm going to, you know, put back in my inventory and resell at the next swap meet we go to. All right, so now here's all the stuff I bought for resale. Some of this I'm going to, as I go through, probably keep some of it, but the intention when I bought all this for resale. So all these plates through here, I paid uh, $3 each. So hopefully I'll keep a few. 
and then sell the rest for uh, five to seven bucks most likely. And uh, probably wouldn't have gotten these three Vermont for three dollars each if I'd known what I was gonna get later on in the day. So later on in the day, I ended up picking up 78 Vermont plates for 50 cents each. And there's some really clean ones in there, so some of those are definitely gonna stay in my collection. The rest I'll sell out. And um, so I did have uh, some 50 cent Texas plates, and I traded them to another plate dealer, and with the credit I had, I got this uh, Cherokee Nation plate, and uh, he had $10 on it. And then I got these two mains that he was selling for, in his 50 cent per plate pile. And then I got another $5 plate from him in, in the pile of keepers that I didn't uh, point out as part of the trade. And then all of these plates, I paid $2 each. So these are most likely to be $5 plates when I go to sell them. These are New York here, some Montana. Um, and some of these I might keep too. I'm not sure yet. More of the $2 plates. And then the last of the $2 plates here. The Cali Blue, I'll probably keep. Cali Blue and Black Plates, we just keep. I don't know what we're going to do with them, but we keep those. Same thing when we get pretty clean Texas Blacks. And then earlier today, I said a minute ago, uh, I'd bought uh, that Rhode Island for 10 It was real clean. And then I ran across a guy who had a ton of Rhode Island. I can't remember how many were here i think a couple dozen um but uh i've paid uh between like two and five dollars i played in all these he had pretty good price on them and then he had them all half off so i kind of bought all of his out except for the ones that were really ruffled up and then these ratty uh new jersey and new york plates i paid uh, five bucks for six of them and um those are just to like fill in like i don't know whenever people are looking for certain plate they'll probably be uh two bucks each at most maybe even a buck each i don't know uh well i guess it's about to be two bucks each because they're the buck in the money so anyhow that's what i bought to sell and uh it was a good swap meet i bought about a thousand and fourteen dollars worth of stuff and i sold a thousand and forty six dollars worth of stuff which was a lot better last year i think i only sold about three hundred eighty dollars worth of plates so but i didn't have as many plates to sell so it was really good meat and uh, we'll be in kind of in a couple weeks and a lot of what i bought here will be for sale at that meat along with some of the stuff that i had at home that i didn't have time to bring up here I actually have the space to bring up here so a uh, really good meat i sold uh probably I said about half my plates that I brought and was able to pick up a ton of plates to resell. So really good meat and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.